Today we want to spotlight the Bath Sweet Shop, which is a locally and family owned candy store right here in downtown Bath. We'll be interviewing one of the owners, Jennifer DeChan. The history of the Bath Sweet Shop, interestingly, has a benchmark this year. It is its 20th anniversary. We are the third owners, so back 20 years ago, I remember sitting in the coffee shop across the street watching them put up the sign and thinking, gosh, what a cool thing to do is to run a candy store. And so over the last two decades, I've been able to see how it's changed and, and then be able to be a part of its history is pretty exciting for us. My passion for sweets can probably be tracked back to childhood. Um, more recently though, in adulthood, when I would travel for business, I would often find myself visiting and exploring local candy stores. So I would bring candy back for the family or I wouldn't bring candy back for the family, I would just have it for my own self. And so I figured out that there was something that about the ambiance, about that you go into a candy store, you're never in a bad mood. Um, it is happy making, it's a modest price point for gift giving and for gestures. And so it all kind of just came together when at a point in life where I was really reevaluating what to do professionally and what to add in as a family that the Bath Sweet Shop was available to purchase. The Bath Sweet Shop offers, as the name indicates, sweetness. We stick to regional sweets, candies, chocolates, and hard candy. We operate with seven different female entrepreneurs of micro businesses. So we feature their information and, and their products. We do not manufacture. We are eaters, we are curators. So what, when you come through the Bath Sweet Shop, you have featured the best of local and regional sweets, candies, and chocolates. So at the beginning of the year, of course, you can see that we are flush in Valentine's Day themed things, and we then curate um, a lot of truffles and maybe higher price point items when people are making the gift part to their loved one or their neighbor or their coworker. And then we move swiftly into Easter. So that's a whole different look and a whole different feel. And so we get a lot of families and uh, best selling and good selling uh, lollipops for putting in baskets. And then turning into summer, we have a, a, a kind of a different clientele in the summer as well with a lot of visitors. So we go with perhaps more of an emphasis on vintage candy, candy for kids, candy that kids can decorate and eat. Um, and then in the fall, of course, we go into Halloween and then Christmas. When customers come into the Bath Sweet Shop, we hope that they first recognize that they are ushered in by the sound of a bell. It is the old fashioned bell that harkens them in. We want folks to feel welcome, and it's a family business, so we do have a tendency to be chatty. We do have a tendency to uh, engage in conversation and find out what is it you're looking for, what's your favorite. Being involved in the community is a cornerstone of the Bath Sweet Shop. We, as a family, have invo been involved in the community, so it would be natural that our business would be an extension of that. Bath is special not only because it's in our name of Bath Sweet Shop, but it is our hometown. It's where our kids went to school. It's where we've involved in the community. It is a, a curated community of downtown businesses as well. So there's a great synergy that exists between businesses that I wasn't necessarily totally aware of until I was a part of it. But we do a lot of cross promotion or if somebody comes in here and they're looking for something, I'll call down the street and say, do you have that and send them along the way. 2024 is gonna be an exciting year for the Bath Sweet Shop. It is our 20th anniversary. So each month we're gonna plan a special event and do a pop-up and feature local artisans um, not necessarily artisans as the traditional aspect, but the culinary artisans that we have here in town. And that's going to feature baked goods, that's going to be how do you, how do you um, make your own or craft your own chocolate covered strawberries. And we're going to do that throughout the year. And we're also going to be diversifying our products. So we call that the, our zero calorie line, because some folks come in here and they're surprised that there's calories in our candy. Um, but now we are going to have products that you don't eat. Um, and so that's a little diversification on our experience. It's still gonna be sweet, 
but it's gonna be a little diversified and we're gonna really have a push for that kind of thing happening in 2024. We are located at 19 Center Street in beautiful downtown Bath. I am the owner and my family and I run this business for the past four years. We welcome you to stop by and get something sweet.